Block 6, the Great Depression, Section 5, after the 100 days, the section of the Public Utility Holding Company Act. This one's a little complicated. Large companies would own lots of smaller power companies. So let's see if we can kind of draw this out. Big company. Big company would indirectly control. These are these are power companies now, okay? Would indirectly control a group of small power companies, and that these big and these are called holding companies because the one. The small companies are doing the holding for what in reality is one you know, big giant company. This allowed these businesses to be more powerful than some of the states that they operated power in. And Congress found it that the states, the states themselves found it very difficult to regulate these companies because as interstate companies, they can only be regulated by Congress. And Congress for a long time, because these are politically powerful companies, had trouble regulating them. This act, this public utility, the Public um, Utility Holding Company Act, outlaws these big giant holding companies. And it made it so that power companies had to be themselves in individual states. That that would be one that and that had to be a separate company. It could not be connected in any way to the others. So this might be the New Jersey Power Company, and this might be the New York Power Company, and this might be the Pennsylvania Power Company, and so on and so forth. That's why this was big news, obviously, during the hurricane. If you notice, there are no power companies that jump state to state. There's PSE&G, which is all in New Jersey. There's JCP&L. And then out on, in New York, there's LIPA, the Long Island Power and Light. There's Con Edison in New York City. That none of them jump state to state. And the reason for that is this law, this uh, Public Utility Holding Company Act. When the power companies are restricted to one state, who can regulate them? the state governments. This allowed for control and regulation of the very powerful American energy or electricity industry. And it made the companies small enough where the states themselves could regulate them. Okay, So it banned these holding companies from interstate commerce. Congress has the power to regulate interstate commerce. It says holding companies cannot engage in interstate commerce. All of these little individual companies have to operate themselves within a single state so that state can regulate them for the benefit of their customers.